out the facility for any kind of program 911 center into its own budget. So you see that here. And then the actual 911 center cost. Um, there were, we didn't find anything else we could pull out of there. It's already down 5% because of that and because we didn't fund two of the positions that are in there. They, they um, have four unfilled right now. Which is not one soon. They're advertising the position all sort right now. Right. But they, they generally keep four, three or four unfilled at a time. That is it. You sound like you're looking for a job. Uh, I was looking for areas to try to get some firemen to be honest with you. No, we don't. You got some leftover french fries in there? <laughs> it's a cheese no, 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 which again, you have the offset by the user charges, so um, it is up that those users are all paying into that system. And then it transfers to the general fund and that fund is in balance. Last four has gone away, finally. We paid out the last $7,400 that was sitting in there for one of the smaller uh, cities. Plus five, um, there's not very much left in that. Again, it's, uh, this is all the money that belongs to the municipality. <coughs> Victim witness, um, some of your fines are down, or your fines are down, as you've seen pretty much everywhere else. Um, these have to be used for victim services. This is um, handled by the DA's office and can split these monies with the solicitor for their victim programs. Um, the DA just gets an allocation off of that and then the solicitor's office um, has an actual victim witness program that is budgeted straight out of here. 